Hi, welcome back again to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 modifications in our Honda Civic. I have done a lot of modifications in this car, maybe at least 20, 20 to 25 modifications from a simple pinstriping to you know putting some decals from the parts that I bought. Okay, but there are some mods that you know first things first before anything else and these mods will definitely uh, improve the performance and overall looks of your car as some of you may know this is my second gen civic my first was a sedan and now this hatchback sport touring the reason i got the civic the second time because it's really good on gas and aftermarket parts are everywhere you would actually have a hard time to get an aftermarket parts amazon or ebay is your friend but if you really want quality parts, you can actually check out uh, Trackworks, Map Performance, T Dot, Parts Engine. These sites that I mentioned, they are selling quality parts. And by all means, I am not affiliated with all those sites that I've mentioned. I just uh, I'm I'm just sharing my experience because I bought through them, right? So if you have other sites that you think it's okay then why not go ahead and with that being said here's the top five mods that you should do on your 10th gen it's a random order it's up to you whatever you want to do okay let's start with the coil overs and lowering spring this is the first things that you need to do because besides making the car looks good it also improves the performance with lowered suspension and lower center of gravity your car sits closer to the ground and increases stability through turns or during emergency maneuvers and it creates more dynamic with the car sitting lower there's less air going underneath which can reduce the amount of drag imposed on the vehicle and it improves handling generally a lowered vehicle will handle better and sit flatter through turns however this is may not be always the case because it affects ride quality depending on how much the car has been lowered and the type of spring and shock absorbers used for your reference, I'll leave the link down below on how to lower our 10th Gen Civics the fast and efficient way. And second on our list is wheels. This is probably one of the major decisions that you'll make when you modify your ride. You want the best looking wheel that fits our Civic. And it's no surprise that when you want to improve the looks of your car, the first thing that we often look at are new wheels. The wheels are the soul of the car and one of the first things that people notice. And it turns out that when expressing some aspect of our car, wheels speaks louder than words. I suggest to just take time when purchasing a wheel. Check on Fitment Industries, they got thousands of wheels set up. It will definitely help a lot. And for the third modification is exhaust. Modifying or replacing your exhaust system is probably one of the coolest thing you will do after the wheels. And there are several main reasons why certain people like their cars to be loud. First is the performance boost. People tend to change the exhaust because of the performance improvement. And second reason is the trailing drive. The louder the sound, the greater the trail. And some people actually change their exhaust for I think mainly for attention and for swag you know what I mean who actually doesn't want their car to sound cool and for some the sound of it equates to sportiness and power so the louder the sound the greater the thrill you can also do a muffler delete or a resonator delete or you can do both either way your car will have a better sound and can gain horsepower but just make sure it's legal in your state or province because here in BC it's illegal to remove any part of your exhaust system if you're unlucky and then you got caught by the cops you might have you could have a vi or vehicle inspection and that's another expense you don't want that to happen for the exhaust installation i will leave the link in the description box down below okay number four is cold air intake okay let's check it out as you can see i'm running a mission moto cold air intake in my 2017 sport hatchback touring and there are actually lots of benefits when you change your stock unit to an aftermarket cold air intake. And one of those benefits are it adds more horsepower, okay? And it increases acceleration. It also improves gas mileage. 
And if you like the roaring sound of an engine, you'll be delighted to know that this is one of the benefits of the cold air intake too. And it also amplifies the sound. And the best part of having a cold air intake is the filter is reusable and it's easy to clean. You don't have to replace the filter every 15 to 30,000 miles. And you could possibly save hundreds of dollars in the long run. So it's really economical. And last but not the least, it's the window tints. Honestly, this was the very first modification that I did on my Civic. While waiting for the parts that I bought online, I had to get it tinted first because this car is my daily. And as you all may know, most of the modern vehicles now are running LED lights, which is blinding. That is why you have to make sure you tint your windows. And it's more appealing with the windows tinted. It also gives you privacy and security, and it also protects you from the harmful UV rays and helps keep your car upholstery from fading. And those are the top 5 mods that you should do to your tangents. Number 1 is spring or coilovers. Number 2, wheels or rims and tires. And number 3 is exhaust. Number 4 is cold air intake. And last but not the least, window tints. And that is just my opinion. And of course, it's always your decision. Do whatever you want to do with your car. Apparently, some people got butt hurt because they didn't like the mods that you do in your car. Well, guess what? You don't live by their standards. Okay? Your car, your rules. Do what pleases you. And that's all for today. Hopefully, this video helps on your future mods on your car. And if you think that this video helps, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Your support goes a long way. And thank you and see you on our next video.